In this video, we will learn how to create a new, say, new sketch and apply dimensional and geometrical constraint. To begin, under Get Started tab, click on the New. Click on Standard.IPT. If you come about this error message, it's OK. Just press the OK key. It's always a good practice to show all the sketch plane. So expand the origin folder. Select all these three keys by pressing down the control key and left clicking it one by one. Right mouse click and select visibility. It will now show the origin planes all the time. Now, to begin, Click on the exact plane and start 2D sketch under the 3D model tab. Click on line. Select this origin point. Go horizontally and you will notice there's a horizontal constraint icon appearing. Means that that line is on horizontal. Click once. We need a diagonal one, a vertical one, or perpendicular to the first line, as what is being shown here, the perpendicular symbol, horizontal, perpendicular also, at an angle line, slanted one. Take note, we do not want it to be parallel to the this edge. If it's parallel, the symbol will appear. Just track it slightly downwards or upwards to remove that parallel constraint. Click it once more and go to the origin point. So the beauty about it is you just need to roughly sketch the shape of your design. You do not need to have the exact dimensions on the first try. Next, let's apply the dimensional constraint. So click on Dimensions under Sketch, Tab, Constraint Panel, Dimensions. Let's begin with this top one. Click once and drag it up. And click left click once more and enter 24. Now this vertical line, same thing, it shares the same dimension. We can, however, just enter 24 here. But let me show you another method. Double click Escape to disable to come out from this dimension tool. Double, double click on the existing 24. And now just click on the first dimension. You'll be presented by this parameter D0 or D1 and so on. Don't worry about it. Just press the tick key. You notice that the dimension now changes from just 24 into a fx equals to 24. It means it's a function now. So why do we do it that this way? So let me show you an example. Let's say I want to change this to half of the dimensions given. So double click on it. Let me change it to 12. If you notice, the vertical length will also update accordingly because they share the same parameter, or they are equal to each other. Now, let's undo, and then continue applying the dimensional constraint. Click Dimensions, click on this slanted line, and click on this horizontal line. Left click it outside, enter 24, now let's do this angle. Click here, the vertical line, and click it. Enter 60. This full length from here till here is 32. Let's add the dimensions to.
Lastly, we have a slanted line. Click once. If you notice, it always goes either vertically or horizontally. To achieve the align dimension, right mouse click and select align. Now you have the dimensions parallel to the slanted edge. Click once and enter 16. So we have everything constrained because everything is fully flat. Now we need to apply a fillet here, which is R10. To select the fillet, go on the sketch, tab, create panel, and from here, there's a fillet tool. You can expand it further, there's also a chamfer tool. So please take note. Now we select the fillet, enter 10 for R10, and select two edges that you want the fillet to be. So click here and here. Done. Now let's create a circle. Under sketch tab, create panel, click on circle, just draw somewhat near to the dimensions given. Now let's dimension it. So this to this vertical edge is actually half of this 24 because I can see that fx equals to 12. So click on 24 slash 2 because 24 divided by 2. Now click on this horizontal edge and click on this point. Place it upside and click the first icon again because they share the same dimension. Enter. Lastly is this circle. Just click on the edge of the circle and enter 15. Great, we have done a sketching with dimensional and geometrical constraints.